Easily one of the most underrated iPhone features, shortcuts can do a lot, like this one right here, which allows us to turn any normal photo into a portrait mode photo. All you have to do is run the shortcut and load any photo that you have on your camera roll. Once you choose the photo you want to modify, you will get here a list of the amount of blur that you want to add on the background of that subject. Once you have done that, by selecting one of these right here, you will get the photo with the portrait mode, even though originally it's just a simple photo. And you can see how cool that looks and it actually works very, very well. Now from here, you can zoom in and out, of course, take a look at the picture and then just tap that little share button to save this image under your camera roll. Now this one right here is pretty interesting. GPT Summarize. It allows us to summarize any text you want. So let's say you're on a website, on an article, you want to read it, but you, maybe you don't have the time or you just don't want to read a long article. All you have to do is just run the shortcut. So while we're here, what I can do is go ahead and run GPT Summarize here. What it will do is that it will summarize that text. It will start it reading it for you. So once it's stuck at the right here around 81%, it will read it out loud. But what you can do is just tap on stop there and then just head on maybe to your notes app or any text app that you choose, tap on paste, and you will be able to actually paste right here the text that it has summarized. So it will also copy it to your clipboard and they get like a really long article in just a few sentences. Next up is get text from screenshots. Now this one is really interesting and I suggest you use it using back tap. So once you have installed the shortcut, you head onto your settings, go under accessibility, go to touch, and then go here to back tap and then select double tap or triple tap, whichever one you wanna use. Scroll all the way down, you will have your shortcuts here and select get text from screenshot. Now what this will do is that when you take a screenshot with this, it won't actually take a picture, but it will copy the complete text that's on that screenshot. So let's just run it from here and you can see you can go ahead and tap on new note here and you will have that text copied to your clipboard. So you can see right here, once I paste the text, it has actually copied everything that was on the screen the moment we took the screenshot. Next up is flash timer. It allows you to set a timer for your flashlight. So let's say you're doing something or maybe you just want to turn turn on the flashlight until you go to bed or something, you can do that actually with this shortcut. You run the shortcut and you can go ahead and choose the minutes here from five up to 60, or you can just type any minutes you want here. And as you can see right here, I can type one minute and run the shortcut. And now it has actually enabled the flashlight and it will be on for one minute. Then it will be turned off automatically. Or what you can do if you want to stop it manually, just stop the shortcut here. And then of course, turn off the flashlight. Next up is Checkmate. This shortcut is really interesting. I did talk about it on a previous video. Now you know that on Twitter, you can now pay for the check mark that you get on your profile. Well, with this shortcut, you will be able to know whether a profile on Twitter has the original check mark or if they are paying for it. So what you need to do is tap right there on the three dots on any profile and then tap on share here and then just go ahead and run Checkmate and it will show you right there. You can see whether that profile has the real check mark or they're paying for the check mark that they have on Twitter. Like on this case, 95 Mac, of course, didn't pay. They have the original Twitter check mark. iFrames is up next and it's really interesting. So anytime you want to share a screenshot of any Apple device, you don't want to just like put out there like an ugly screenshot, you can just put it on a frame and you can do that with this shortcut without needing to install or pay for another app. So all I have to do is run the shortcut and from here you can choose the screenshot that you wanna put on a frame. So once you have added the screenshot, you will see right here, all the different devices and of course at the top you will see your device. It will detect which device you're using so you can tap on that right there and you will actually get the result here. So you can directly save it to photos, share it, copy to your clipboard, or you can preview the photo from here. And you can see right there, we have the this, this screenshot, of course, on a frame, which looks really interesting. Tap here, you can go ahead and save it under your camera roll.
This is one of my favorite shortcuts that I use a lot. This allows you to set the audio output pretty easily. All I have to do to start playing on my Mac is just run this shortcut. Now the way it works is that you install the shortcut and then all you have to do is tap on the three dots right there and then tap here where it says playback destination. You tap there and you can choose any of your devices from the list and then of course the output will be that device. So anytime you're playing something, you don't actually need to go to the control center and change the output from there. All you have to do is run the shortcut and it will be done in a couple of seconds. Seconds. Sort lines will help you sort any like list of lines that you might have on your device. All you have to do is copy the text to your clipboard and then run the shortcut. Once you do that, you go ahead and paste the text here and then tap on the dumb button and automatically it will sort them by the letter here. So you can see from the A here up to the U. So everything will be alph alphabetically sorted. It says that you can tap the dumb button, you have it copied to your clipboard back, and you can go ahead and paste that text anywhere you need. Convert Burst to GIF allows you to convert your Burst photos into one GIF file. So anytime you have taken like Burst pictures, you probably try to select the best one of them, but you can actually create a GIF file out of them, which will look really, really cool. And it's pretty easy to do that with shortcuts. Just run the shortcuts and of course, select the files from your photos library. So once you run the shortcut, it will actually go to your photo library and it only shows the burst pictures that you have so you don't mix them up with the other pictures. And you can see right there we have the GIF file. From here, all we need to do is go ahead and save this under the camera roll or under the files app. Battery stats is up next. This is another very useful shortcut that I've talked about previously on one of my videos where I talked about iPhone batteries and battery health, but it allows you to actually know the battery health and the capacity, the real capacity of your iPhone's battery. Now to run it, you go to privacy and security here and make sure you go to under analytics and improvements. And then under analytics data, go ahead and find the last row here where it says analytics. So that will be the latest one. You will see this page here. From here, just go ahead and tap on that share button and find here the battery stats shortcut. Make sure to tap there, it will run from here and will actually show you all the stats you need to know regarding your battery as the battery health, the real battery health, and of course the real capacity and the remaining capacity of your battery. So there we have the result. Now the first time it turned an error, but now I ran it for a second time and now it's good. So you can see right here, the real capacity of the battery is 4,500 million powers, even though the designed one is like 4,300 and some. And then we have the current capacity here, the charging cycle. So how many times the device has been charged from zero to 100%. And then right here, we have the real battery health of this iPhone, which in this case is 9368, even though the battery health on the settings app says 99. Ultimate Control Center is up next and it has a bunch of really useful tools. So when you run this shortcut, you will get a list of tools here, like your network tools. So you can try basically test out the speed of your network. You have ultimate battery, so like a battery saving mode, you can save your location edit photos, you have a timer here, quick web, and something like the QR options right here. So if you tap on the QR options, you can create QR codes for URL, text, your clipboard, or you can set the current Wi-Fi here on a QR code. So anytime you want to share that Wi-Fi network, all you have to do is just tell someone, basically show someone that QR code, it turns your Wi-Fi into a QR code. So really, really cool and very easy to use. So anything you want to do here, you can turn them in this case into a QR code. So you can see how easy that is. So anything can be shared as easy as that with a QR code or use any of the other tools of the ultimate control sender. And last but not least is turn text into audio. Any text that you want, it will turn it into an audio file. So you run the shortcut from here, you paste the text or enter any text you want here, tap on the dump button and now it will actually create a, an audio file for you, which you can listen here and you can share it, of course, save it to the files app if you wanna have it saved locally on your device. So any text you wanna paste or type here can be turned into an audio file, which you can listen anytime you want. 
So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 12 iOS shortcuts that I believe you must have on your device because they are pretty, pretty useful. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. And of course, if you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one.